Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to flip an image using Flutter Twin animation. So let's click on this and here we see that we have this image. Let's click it one more time, it'll flip back. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so inside this Metro app, we have this homepage and our homepage is a stateful class. And over here we see that our stateful class is using a mixin class, which is called ticker provider state mixin. And now this is important if you do animation. And after that, at the top, we have declared three variables and we'll use each of them and I'll explain why we are using them. So here we have overrided this init state method. And the first line we see that we have created a controller object where we say that our animation would continue for one second. And later on, the type of animation we want is that we want to change the value between one to zero. So the value would be animated between one to zero and that would take one second time. So that's where we are passing the controller object, the one that we are created, that we have created early. So inside this animate function, now over here from this object, the one that we have, based on that, we attach a listener. So with this listener, we'd be able to tell the Flutter that if your UI use this animation object, then also update the UI. So inside this add listener, we have this set state. So what Flutter would do, it would listen for any changes and the value that would be used inside the UI. So if we change this value or use this value, the UI would know because we are using set state. Otherwise, UI wouldn't able to know that this value is being changed or we are using it somehow. And at the same time, if we have end of animation or we start animation, we also use a add status listener because animation would eventually end or on a button click it will start. So these are the three objects that we have used over here. Now we'll go inside this column section over here and inside this two sized box we'll declare our transform widget. Right after this sized box we have declared this transform widget and inside this transform widget we have defined based on where to do the animation. Well, this one we'll take a look very soon once again. Now over here, since we are going to do a rotation, so that's why first we get the identity matrix and then we do the set entry and then we rotate. Now set ent entry is basically used for perspective and which we'll also take a look very soon. And for rotate itself, we are using the pi variable. Now it's coming from dart math. And this is the value that we want to, we are animating between zero and one, the one we have seen early inside this init state. So this is the value that we get. So as you get the value and we multiply it with the pi. So over here, the value change between zero and pi all the time within one second. And whatever the value is there, rotate function takes that and rotates our object. Now, inside this transform widget, so we set up this basic properties and then our child is a card, which is a very basic UI. Now, inside the card, first we check the animation value. Remember, we said that the value changed between zero and one. If the value is less than 0 0.5, then we just show a uh, container with this question mark otherwise as the value changes gets bigger then we're gonna show a picture now how to work with this how to change the value and how to trigger it before we answer this question let's go ahead and start our project and we'll see that this is what we see because at the beginning the animation value is actually less than 0 0.5 so that's why we see that it's a question mark which falls to this condition so we need to find a way to increase this value now to be able to do that right after this sized box we'll declare an elevated button so here we have declared an elevated button and inside this unpressed event we are checking the status if the status is equal dismissed then we'll start our animation 
otherwise we'll reverse our animation now this value animation status equal dismissed actually we have declared it at the top so let's go ahead and take a look so as you can see over here we have gotten animation status dismissed and save it to this one so obviously at the beginning the status value is animation status dot dismissed so what happens over here it falls to this condition then if we click the button the animation would start so let's restart our app and then now let's click on this button and we'll see that the animation started and here we see that uh, this is our image so let's click on this it will reverse the animation let's click on this it will start the animation again so what happens here during each button click it checks the status if the status is dismissed we forward it so once the animation finished of course the status is not dismissed it's a different status so we fall back to this condition so that's where we reverse the animation now one thing I said earlier that we want to check this value now of course uh, we can comment it out and let's save it now if you flip this you see the point it starts flipping it's strange so it starts somewhere from the left side but as we do it we tell it okay start the animation based on this condition this coordinate from the middle so this is where the center takes into place now we also said that we want to take a look at this value in general set entry has to do with perspective even if you don't use it over here it will take the default perspective and it would still work but if you somehow want to use it and get a better control in general you want to set this value higher than this and this should be as little as possible but this one depends based on your experiment so now we are going to change all these three values over here and we'll see the animation happens a bit differently so instead of using two we're going to use a three and over here we're going to use a two now let's save it and let restart and you see the animation takes a bit differently this time and which i find personally it's much better and in this case if you change this one we'll have a very different perspective let's restart our app and then try to click on this you will see the perspective is very different so this is very important if you want to play around with perspective now this value depends on your need which you need more experiment and do it anyway so if you have more questions don't forget to leave a comment below and smash that like button thank you so much